All right. How's that? Perfect. Okay. All right. So um, today we're just going to do talk about the Rusty Patch Bumblebee for people who have um, potential Rusty Patch Bumblebees in their survey grids. Uh, so we'll talk about some general information, then we'll talk about how to identify a Rusty Patch Bumblebee and specifically what you should do if you do come across one during your survey. Um, so I'm sure the three of you that are here um, <laughs> have gone through this already and picked out your grid cells. And I'm assuming that you all um, have grids that potentially have um, rusty patch bumblebees in them. So the rusty patch bumblebee, which is actually Minnesota's state bee, um, is federally endangered and it's at risk of extinction. So there's a lot of protections in place to keep them from harm, uh, which means there's a lot of special care that is needed um, from us that are involved in the this survey process to also protect this bumblebee from harm. So how to be careful. Um, the, first, the most important thing to do is like keep an eye out for the Rusty Patch Bumblebee as you are collecting um, bumblebees. So if you suspect that you have potentially caught one, you'll want to pause your survey. So stop your timer, um, identify the bumblebee you've caught uh, to find out if it is in fact a Rusty Patch. And then you want to take a photograph of it, however it is, and then release the bumblebee as soon as possible. Um, so if you do happen to find a Rusty Patch Bumblebee, you'll want to stop your survey that day in the location that you're at and try to avoid collecting any other Rusty Patch Bumblebees. Um, and then it's important to email Elaine or the Bumblebee Atlas email um, right away with the photos and the location that you found the Rusty Patch Bumblebee. Um, and then as you're continuing on, through the survey process. So when you're going into your next survey, try to pick a different location within your grid um, so you don't accidentally catch another rusty patch. Elaine, you're muted. Switching gears into the, the ID section. So I just have a different, different presentation to share for that. Um, so I just wanted to go over some um, ID stuff for Rusty Patch Bumblebee as a, a refresher or um, new information. All right, so um, so key characters to, to focus in on for, for Rusty Patch Bumblebee are looking for this black T-shape on the thorax, and then um, the, the eponymous rusty patch is on the second abdominal segment. So on the abdomen, there'll be one section that's all yellow. The section, cello, section will have a rusty patch at the top of it that's all surrounded by yellow. And here are a couple of photos where we can can see even through the wings, we can see this um, this rusty patch here, the black hairs between the wings, as well as um, the, the black hairs coming back from the edge. Sometimes the wings can be really reflective. It can be hard to see through there, but here we can still see clearly the, the rusty patch. And there's a, a beautiful shot where we can see the, the pattern on the abdomen really clearly. So that um, thumbtack shape, it's also kind of umbrella shaped that is, is pretty um, d distinctive. There's some other bees that will have that too, but, um, but it is something to, to look out for, especially if you can't see the abdomen right away and then take a closer look at the abdomen to look for that, um, that rusty patch. The male, sometimes that, that band on the thorax is, is less defined, but they do have a really similar color pattern. Sometimes you just have to look a little more closely to see what's happening between the wings, but they will have the, the rusty patch on their, their abdomen as well. The, the rusty patch itself can vary in terms of color. Sometimes it can be pretty pale. Sometimes it can be pretty dark. Uh, sometimes it can be smaller. 
So it is something you sometimes need to, to look more closely at. So uh, some other bees that get confused with it, the brown belted bumblebee, this one does have rusty color on the second abdominal segment, but it has black underneath it. So if this was rusty patch, it would be kind of yellow all around that rusty patch. Whereas for the brown belted, there's black right up against that, that brown swoop. They also don't have that um, thumbtack shape. So there's a, a photo where we can see the nice um, brown, rusty color on their second abdominal segment. More common up north for Minnesota is the tri-colored bumblebee. And that one does have a similar shape on the thorax, but it's a lot more distinct. So it's just generally thicker, lots of black hair between the wings and more black hairs kind of coming back towards the abdomen. It does have some orange on the abdomen on the second abdominal segment, but that entire second abdominal segment and the whole third abdominal segment is orange. So it has a lot more orange. And then there's just a little bit of black on the tip. And here's some, some photos so you can really see um, this really large amount of orange hairs on the abdomen. The half black bumblebee is one that can sometimes get confused. Um, it does have just these the, the two yellow abdominal segments. And something that can happen sometimes is it can look like there might be a darker patch depending on how the light is kind of going through. You can see this looks a little darker on the side here. That's not from darker hairs. Those hairs are all this light yellow, but it's just seeing the cuticle through those hairs. So sometimes that can happen in the middle of the segment where you would expect to see the rusty patch. So just make sure you're looking at, if you think you see a rusty patch on there, look at it at different angles. And also these, um, the half black bumblebees won't have so many black hairs on the thorax. Um, they also have, have longer faces. Another bee that has some red on it sometimes is the red belted bumblebee. Their color patterns vary, but um, sometimes they don't have any orange or red, but when they do have orange or red, it tends to be not just on that second abdominal segment, but kind of scattered throughout. Um, so um, they, they do have a lot of black hairs between the wings, but they don't have that umbrella shape, that thumbtack shape. They don't have the little line of black hairs coming back. Um, so here we can see this kind of mixture of orange and yellow hairs on um, through, through a lot of the, the abdomen, not just isolated to that second segment. One that can show up later in the season that can sometimes get confused is the lemon cuckoo bee. They do have this a lot of the black hairs on the thorax that can look like that thumbtack shape or umbrella shape. But um, usually for them, the first three segments are all yellow. And these are only showing up in, in late summer. So something to keep an eye for out for um, in late summer. And here's, here's a photo, um, as you can see, it's a lot more yellow coming back through, through the abdomen. Um, a couple other just common bees that you'll run into are the um, common eastern bumblebee, which um, usually isn't confused with rusty patch. It just has one segment of yellow and then the rest is black. The two-spotted bumblebee has the first segment yellow, the second segment has this kind of W shape there, but the, the, those two are just the two other super common bees that you're, you're likely to see. So just, just a heads up for, um, for what those look like. And here's a nice view of this W, which are the two spots for the two-spotted bumblebee. We do have, um, if you want to review any time during the year on um, Rusty Patch ID, we do have information on the Bee Lab website. We also have a couple videos on Rusty Patch ID that you can, can view at any time. So um, just remembering, we've got the tricolored, the brown belted, the half black, and the red belted are the ones that are most often confused. 
this half black photo here, you can see that really does look like that might be a rusty patch in the right spot, but it really is just um, kind of the angle of what's going on there. And we're not seeing that, um, that thumbtack shape. So we're going to do a quick little um, quiz type of thing. Uh, if you um, want to use the, the chat and here we're just doing rusty patch or not rusty patch. And um, this one has um, has not a lot. There's not a lot going on here with the with black hairs between the wings, um, and not seeing the rusty patch here. This is a two spotted bumblebee. This one we can. Um, can't see what's totally going on in the thorax, but looks like there's some some black hairs there. Um, this is a rusty patch there. This is a rusty patch bumblebee. This is a male. This one, um, we've got the kind of ru some rusty hairs here, but black right up against it. So this is the brown belted bumblebee, not a rusty patch. This one here, that looks like that might be uh, you know, some darker hairs there, but not sure what's going on with the angle of the photo. Not seeing a lot of black hairs here. Seeing this long face, rusty patch bumblebees have a more round face. This is a half black bumblebee and not a rusty patch. This one, we can see this umbrella. We can see the rusty patch. That one is a rusty patch. This one, as you can see, has more red than it should. So this is not a rusty patch bumblebee. This is a red belted bumblebee. This one has even more bright yellow hairs. And this one is the, the tricolored bee. So not a rusty patch bumblebee. This one is, I keep on meaning to replace this photo. It's so pixelated. I keep on forgetting. Um, this is a, a brown belted again. So we've got that brown belt right up against the, the black and lots of yellow hair on the thorax. Um, and one more, I think, rusty patch here. We've got that, we can really see the umbrella shape there, the rusty patch there. I wanted to mention a, a new um, project that we have for people who are around the Twin Cities. We have a couple places where there is gaps in, in um, sightings of, of rusty patch bumblebee, where we just are seeing fewer than they we think we should in a few neighborhoods. So we have a special project we just started on iNaturalist and um, the the we have a few neighborhoods that we're focusing on. Um, and so if you are around these neighborhoods at all and want to um, do some searching for rusty patch bumblebees, if you're able to do that and share them, on iNaturalist, then um, you can get a free t-shirt. So we're gonna have some, some incentives for people to get out and, and help us see what's going on um, in, these, in these neighborhoods. And um, we really just have kind of a, a brief presentation going through through kind of the the rules to for for handling the rusty patch and then some some stuff to make sure people feel comfortable um, recognizing rusty patch bumblebee and then um, besides that we can just answer any questions you might have I know Karen you already you already asked <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't okay. Really shut up anytime. No, no, no. More questions are always welcome. Yeah. So I'm curious whether you had a chance to check out that um, possible sighting that was near Emily or Outing, Minnesota. The um, the one I had mentioned. Um, that somebody had said that they had found it. Oh, and with the gonna check with water the district people in Crow Wing County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with Crow Wing I, County, I reached somebody... out to them, to, mm -hmm. and then I didn't hear back. 
Ah, okay. So yeah, I haven't seen any photos. Yeah, I, there was somebody. So what? It, yeah, so what that was was that it, in a newsletter um, from the Minnesota Lakes and Rivers Advocates. I don't know if you're familiar with them at all. Um, it's a they're a lobbying group actually. Um, it's called Minnesota Lakes and Rivers Advocates, and they put out a newsletter, and in their spring newsletter, which they offer up to lake associations. Um, and, and I happen to be the newsletter editor for our Lake Association. Um, they talked about somebody had done some big lakeshore restoration on their property and lo and behold, they got a rusty patch bumblebee and they made a big deal out of it. And so I was just curious because that's not that far from where I am. Um, and I w would love to find one in my area, um, but it's, it would be really quite a ways from the ones that supposedly have been seen up by um, Cast Lake, Winnebogoshish area. Um, it's nowhere near anywhere else <laughs> has had any sightings of rusty patch bumblebees. So that's why I was very curious about it. People a lot of times see tricolor bees, which are extremely common up in my area. So um, I was just dying of curiosity to see whether they had actually found one or not. Yeah, yeah, until I can see a photo, I generally suspect that it's that it's tricolor when it's up north. But I mean, there, they, uh, there's definitely, you know, there are those pockets where they've been found kind of further north and um, it certainly is, is possible But the, if they'd shared documentation with the Fish and Wildlife Service, then it would have been updated on the on the most recent map too. And I don't see anything there. No, I'm sure it was just one person saying, "Hey, I got him! I got him!" and you know, bragging to other local people. <laughs> So evidently workers are starting to show up for, for Rusty Patch Bumblebee. So um, at least around the Twin Cities, they're, they're starting to, to show up. So there'll be um, hopefully more of them over the next few weeks as the colonies are building up and should, should start seeing more. All right. Any other general questions or anything we can we can help with? Otherwise, we can just we can keep this short and sweet. All right. Well, you can always reach out with more questions. Um, otherwise, um, we will just continue on here um will we can um yeah we can share this this recording with other people that that didn't make it just to make sure uh we're being as careful as we can we want to make sure we're we're protecting rusty patch bumblebee you know all the the methods we're using are super low risk but we just want to be have that extra bit of being careful to make sure that we're doing everything we can to to protect the rusty patch bumblebee and and help them out All right, thanks everyone. Great, thanks.